Okay, now it's pizza's time. As you can see, we've racked up all of our pizzas we're gonna prepare today. A quick and easy way to do it, and you can get one of these pizza racks on the CBO web store. I thought we'd try something a little uh, creative here to start with before we get into the traditional pizzas. And we like to start off in the, in the morning when we do an event with a uh, breakfast pizza. So basically we got a pizza shell. We've added a little olive oil on the, the base. There's no red sauce. It's what you call a white pizza, Pizza Bianca. We put on our mix of provolone and mozzarella cheese, and we made our little divot holes here, if you will, where we're gonna put the egg yolks. So I'm just gonna dip down in, place one in each hole, and they come up actually quite easily with your hands, and put them in the holes, as I said. This will really, really wow the crowd. Then whatever yolk is left over, you can just pour on top, because that will all solidify when you cook it. And then I'm going to add some peppers. Not only does it add really nice color to the pizza, but uh, obviously when you saute green peppers, it's excellent tasting on a pizza. So we have that. Now we're going to add a breakfast meat, and you can use anything you like, ham, your kibasa. We have some bacon here that's pre-cooked, and I'm going to wait and hold off and add that bacon at the end uh, so it doesn't burn. Now we're just going to crumble some bacon on top. It's really hot in there, so watch your hand. You should be using your gloves. As you can see, our breakfast pizza is all done. While you're making your pizza, you can break the yolk, making more of the hard cooked egg, or for those who do like eggs over easy, you can leave the yolk as is.